Hey, Tim and Joel. This has got the Paul Simon Graceland vibes. Don't you reckon? Don't you reckon? Oh, yeah. Come on. I don't actually know what you're talking about. I was hoping you did. Oh, yeah. I have no facts to back up. This stuff. Let it play till the end. This oh, stuff. I know. No, that, oh, of course I know this stuff. That stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Imagine Pink on an X tour flying around the arena so on some good. sort of bungee cord singing that. Oh, gosh, I know. Her well, tour was be... such a party. They're so yeah. wild. I know, They're she'll parachute you. Well, for her. Sure. Yeah, it's a fun house. <laughs> it is. Oh, I know. I love shaking my pussies to this bit. <laughs> yeah. You. And, you know, one of the great assholes, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One, one of, of the great... great assholes. Oh. Yeah. Tell me Paul. more about that. Yeah. And also, the biggest one? Oh, I can't say it because... Yeah, I like it. Okay, show Just me. Just imagine it, guys. What are you oh, driving? It's quite wordy what you're writing down. Really? The biggest. The biggest? The biggest! What? Oh, I know. Wow, you hey. all of this tea? Mm-hmm. And that's not but a name. I, I would not have picked that name in 100 guesses. Like we're saying, though, the super sweet ones, the nice ones, like if that's your act to be nice. Yes. How exhausting. Um, is you're a little bit of a... Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. They're always the ones. Bit of a dick. They're yeah, I've got a bit of toed. It's like Ricky, everyone's like, Ricky's so nice. I'm like, no yeah, one know, says that. So- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one says that. See a stomping around here in no. a tangerine blouse. Oh, I need, oh, still no. need to tell you what blouse you means. Tell me what blouse means. There's so, I'm learning on, so many. What do you things. mean? What do you mean? In my community, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's um, you can be a blouse. It's a position you might take in the bedroom. Oh, is that something oh, that you like chucked it. around? No. Oh, hang on. No. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> If you're a, I, I think I can say this. Oh, hang on. Are you a top? Yeah, but if get it, what's a blouse? It's a a feminine top. Oh, oh that's feminine get it. Top. Brilliant. Oh, like a like a hair. Yeah. Whipping. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. See, you've, hair you've, whipping. You've got hair whipping. Hair whipping. What feminine tops have hair whipping? I know. You just called me one. I was like, yeah, hair whipping. Oh, yeah. yeah, but oh, I think yeah. you're. Oh you no, know? you're a um. You're a. I. No. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take, absolutely. Take now you have to be me. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? I thought you were going to say power. But are you just saying that, that, yeah. you just saying that to be sister, or are you saying that because no, I've been speaking to No, I've, I've read you. and Because that's... That's... I don't think that's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would say I would say a power, power one. Mm. I don't want to be. I don't want to. Sorry, mate. We no, decided for you. Just, no, that's who you wanna, are. I wanna... It's your personality. Yeah. Oh, you want to be a... A blouse. A blouse. You want to blouse around. Oh, no. You want to blouse around and whip your hair. You yeah. whip your hair. you got like whippy hair. You do. Yeah, but I don't want to be on top whipping my hair around. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Well, you're going to wear a stack hat or something. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm asking to be. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be something that I'm you not. You want to be loved. I, you, I want to be loved. Are you ready yeah, to be loved? Yeah, I'd like to get FOMO. Now you, you, now you want to get in on my, my yeah. community. Uh, but, you don't want to, but you don't want to be branded with a, with a, with a name that you don't want. Mm. Well, no, I you're, think, you're, very specific I, I think about... you're judging a book by its cover. Oh, no, that's you my just whole want to be in control. That's who you are. Yeah, of course. That's your whole personality. Get over here, blouse. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great, though? Get over blouse. here, you big blouse. Well, well there you go. I've learned something. And what we're asking now is what have you done? What have you just done for the first time? Like, it blows me away. It blows my mind, even. Mm. When people have had their first cup of coffee, you know, in their, in their 30s. Yes. yes. Like, you know what? Just live a little. Just go in head first. Yeah. I know. What have you just done for the first time? 13, 20, 2410. For the very first time, 13, 2410. Well, this lady mm. has just um, taken her first flight. I do love this. These mm. photos are unbelievable. Yeah, how old was, is she? Um, how old is her name's Rameza Galgi? Um, she's one of the tallest women in the world. She stands at seven feet tall. <gasps> Oh, I know. She's having the time of her life, and I love it. Um, she took her first flight because she's so tall she can't fit in a standard airline seat. Oh, my goodness. Poor thing. So she took, she's Turkish. She took her first flight from Turkey to San Francisco on Turkish airlines, who do fantastic food, by the way. Really? Yes. So they do Turkish toast with Vegemite? They, they do, do everything. They, they're, they're known oh, as one of the best, best food in the sky. Um, Turkey sub? 
the turkey oh, sun up. Yum. No, they do like a lot of like you know um, like dips and, and flatbreads and delicious things like yeah. that. Mm. Gobble, gobble. She's a Guinness World Record holder. What'd you call me? That's what you are. Go. I'm a, I'm a Turkish dub. You're a go- you're a gobbler. <laughs> you're a mad gobbler. Um, they had to remove six economy seats and replace them with a special special stretcher to allow her to lie down. It's a 13 why, why hour you have flight. Why on a stretcher though? Because she, um, she's too tall for the see, cabin. But they couldn't just give her all the leg room. They took out six chairs. Because she'll hit the roof. <gasps> hit the roof. Yeah, she's, she's that tall. <gasps> no, she has, no, she has, she has that, that kind of temperature just hit the roof. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> also, that's service. They've wheeled that's her service. on the well, plane, taken out seats. That's yeah. cool. It doesn't feel like a very busy route, does it? Tur- <laughs> like, to, <laughs> Turkey to San Fran? Oh, well, I think Turkish Airlines is one of the biggest airlines in the world. Hot take. Yeah, but mm. the route. Big call. I think people, well, okay. Uh, but she said, um, Ramesa said it was a, f- a flawless journey from start to finish. She's all, she's got three world records, actually. She's got she's the woman with the world's largest hands, woman with the longest finger. What? Just one. just one. Not all of them, just one. And woman with the longest back. How old do you, wow. th- how old do you think she is? Ramesa. Oh, I reckon she's only in her 20s. I reckon she's... Oh, yeah, the... Fa- oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 30. She's 25. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. She's got a very... She's got a longer neck than me. I know. I, I had the longest neck in the world. She's, she would have loved San Francisco. Neck. It's amazing. I know. Doing cool. the Golden Gate Bridge and, and the Castro. I imagine her, like, she'd, she'd walk through San Fran and then her head would be in the fog. <laughs> oh, and, oh, my God, wouldn't that be amazing? You've got, your head in the, you've got your head in the clouds again, Racer. <laughs> I wonder if her parents are tall. Oh, okay. No, the Danny, De- <laughs> Danny DeVito's her dad. <laughs> no. It couldn't just be. 13-24-10, no, I know what you mean, because you, you are meant to be taller than your parents. Oh, yeah. oh, it's true, yeah. Further oh, 2014, what have you just done for the first time? <laughs> now, um, what have you only just done for the first time? I mean, I won't ask you because you've done everything, everything, and I mean everything mm-hmm. there is to do. Is that, I'm, well, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Yeah, no, I take, take it. Well, I agree that I think I have as well. Yeah, try everything once, all well, that. Not everything, but most things. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, 37% of the population has a valid passport. There you go. Oh. Of the US population. Woofter. I mean, not quite ninety percent, does it? But it's not. It's not far off. Close. Yeah. Close. But we are the Enough. new Americans when you travel, don't you reckon? You can really hear an Aussie. Oh my yes. god, you can. Yeah, and and sometimes it's nice, and other times it's like. Ugh. But when you when you've been overseas and it's been like a, a work trip or maybe a holiday where you've been fighting with your partner, <laughs> just speaking from experience, <laughs> um, and you hear that g'day yeah. when you got on board Qantas from a big old Qantas pan yeah. that's been flying since the beginning of time. It feels good. It feels, it feels good. Like you're home. It does feel good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the spirit of Australia. Spirit Still call Australia. Australia. Yeah. I know. And Pam's literally the spirit haunting the plane because she's been walk- working for so long. She passed years ago. <laughs> she cropped Bloody us. Pam. She cropped us like crazy too. She's As like, she goes down the aisle. Animals, she's like, oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> she's like, enough, enough airline, enough airline food will do that to you. Yeah. Enough little mini bottles of Shiraz. <laughs> your gut is long gone. I wonder if your mate on the plane, the seven foot tall lady. I wonder if she gets six meals because she got six seats taken out. Does she get that quota of the food? Well, on board Turkish oh, yeah. Airlines, they. They have an onboard chef. And you can see in this photo, look, he's coming down with a little cocktail from a mesa. Oh, is she? It's like she's having, I think she's having a, um, what's the cocktail um, in, in the copper? Um, oh, the, uh, um, the mule. Uh, yeah, a mule. Oh, Moscow having, mule. Moscow, Moscow mule. mule. And if you're from Turkey too, you have to have brie and cranberry sauce. Mm. Everything. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember the turkey, the turkey sandwich, the br- the turkey sandwich oh, of with the bread and cranberry at, at Bay Swiss. Oh yeah, oh, thank Do you remember yeah. Bay Swiss? No. These the place at the cafe where you could also buy the furniture. <laughs> no. Oh, it was so great. <sighs> Is that a Sydney thing? Oh, probably. Sorry. It's all right. Oh, no. oh, you're a lady of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, what have you only just done for Hi, the first Sharon. time? Hi, Sharon. Good afternoon. Look, I have been a homeowner for nearly 35 years. Yeah. And on the weekend, for the very first time, I had to mow my own lawn. <gasps> oh, what? Sharon, and how did you go? I did, look, it's not my favourite chore, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> There's grass and all sorts of gooby stuff, and it was wet, it was disgusting. Oh, no. Why, why haven't yeah. you um, mowed your lawns for 35 years? Who's been I've doing been it? I'm very blessed and my neighbours kept doing it, but he's yeah. unfortunately unwell, so oh. that was a bit inconvenient. Oh, that's so. selfish. Yeah, my, neighbor, my neighbour Peter sometimes just does our front lawn. Really? I'm like, thanks, buddy. Oh, wow. It's so great. That's so cool. And it takes me a couple of days to so go, was, it, was that like that? Did he really do Is that your neighbour, Mr. File? What? <laughs> <laughs> Is his name Peter? 
Mm. Oh dear. Yeah. Wow. Too Zing. early for that stuff. Oh please. No, but too early. You're just <laughs> jealous. You didn't think of it. <laughs> hey, Amy. What have you just done for the first time? Um, I just went on a water slide on the weekend for the first time. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh was fun. It, yeah. was it a thrill. Uh, look, it was one that my six-year-old had also just been on. Yeah. So I couldn't let him down, and I was so petrified. I'm 36, and I was so scared. The poor guy at the top of it was like a teenager looking at me like I'm a kid. Um, but I had the best time, and I was like, oh, my God, I want to do it again. Of course you do. It's a water slide. Oh, that's so, fun. There's almost nothing better than a water slide. I mean, there's a few things better, but nothing. Unless, you, get, unless you chafe. Oh, yeah, no, I'll get the big wedgie. You know, the yeah. one that <laughs> the went big wedgie. Yeah. A wedgie. A wedgie. A wedgie. I've heard the word wedgie in a while. <laughs> uh, you know, we just found out that uh, the script have a song called For the First Time. They've also got a song called The Last Time. Oh, look at them. Oh, they've got all bases covered. The first time, the last time. Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova. Right now, though, let's talk Preach. Yes. What a song. What a song. Remember this? Remember Daniel Johnson? I mean, we want you to preach, sister. Preach, sister. What are the girls better at? And guys can get involved in this too. 13, 24, 10. What are the girls better at? Girls like most, most things, I'd say. Girls just wanna have preach. No, oh, not that one. Not that I one. like preach, that one. Sister. That's the Kelly Osbourne yeah, one. Isn't we, it? Asked for, we asked <laughs> for Papa Don't Preach. One. We asked for Papa Don't Preach. And God bless Dan, who's done great work today. Odin, Day Wheel, and all that stuff. Damn. Um, yeah, he gave us the Kelly Osbourne one because he didn't realise uh, <laughs> the other one existed. I do like Kelly's one. Do you yeah, I do. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Come that's, on. Just, that sucks Kelly's a bit more up and about. Oh. Okay. I don't want any of your ro- Lizzo rules. Uh, you're <laughs> you can leave. And she's more iconic. Yeah, so cancelled. What? She's way more iconic. What? Way more iconic. She would shop at the iconic. What? I'm just, I'm just riling you both oh. up. Who sings oh, the original Madonna? So As if I think Kelly Osbourne's more iconic than Madonna. <laughs> that I know hurt me you did. You had my me a little soul. bit. Uh, gotcha. Booby trap, as you say. <laughs> Walked into my booby trap. <laughs> All right, come on, 13, 24, 10. Uh, what are the girls better at? Preach, sister. I mean, I think the girls clearly were better at everything. I would happen to agree. You have to agree. He won't. You, uh, I totally will. Are you just yeah. nodding and slow blinking at me? Totally. Quit slow blinking at me. You guys are so <laughs> much better at stuff. We are. Um, because and Pope Francis says the same thing. Fran? Oh, oh Fran. Oh, my God. Franny. Franny. He has had a lot to say thing. lately. He says... Look how he holds the microphone. He's like he's, his, his mic technique's oh, way off. Oh, my God. Well, he could come to my little stand-up course that I, that you and, you and Pope Francis can come to. Amazing. You and Pope Francis. You're doing a stand-up course? Yeah, for your big national tour. So walk out. Didn't out. Tim have to teach you how to talk into the microphone? Oh, my we God. are over the top of the Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, he's come up to the big smoke. So. Yeah, the big smoke. Same well, my big... Oh, I, your I, microphone's I got, different in My normal Melbourne. studio, I've got a big fuzzy one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm. Fairy guy. For, for simple like people. It. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairy guy. But I look at my technique now. It's good, it's isn't it? very good. It's perfect. You eat the Neumann. Eat the Neumann. Oh, that's a Neumann. Of yeah, mate. It is. That's why it sounds so delicious. I know. Doesn't it sound oh, great? I was at the brand of mine. I was getting mine replaced the other day because I just I was doing yeah. my head in. It was giving you the sh- And gobbling it up. You are very angry about the microphone. Woof. 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 Gets him mm. angry. Give him a sh- sounding microphone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just for one day. We'll try and hold it up for you tomorrow and see how you no. like it. No. No. I know. no. <laughs> I did like what you said about Madonna mics the other day. We were talking about yeah. headset mics, and what did you say? The Madonna mic. You're going to walk around with the Madonna mic. Yeah, but mic you're, too, you use your hands. you're too strong for it. Yeah, I've got, my voice is too powerful for Madonna <laughs> mic. Too powerful for it, that's right. And I was like, that's yeah, I agree. amazing. I had to wear one one time, and it was it was just terrible because we yeah. with all of the dancing and the choreography, I needed yeah. my hands. It was terrible. So, yeah. how did, what are you I doing now? Too loud. Did you hold it? Just a handheld. When, when you dance? Yeah. Oh. Well, we adjust the choreography so that I only use one arm. Why well, you get oh. one of those big coat hanger things that hang off your thing? And then oh, no. The microphone in. Yeah, because well, like great. You know, when I, we went to Six the Musical and they had those little clips and they popped their microphone in there when they had That's a dance break. That's very good. I just mm. pop them between my boobs. Oh. I hate the one where it comes up in your hairline, though, and it looks like a growth. Oh, the musical oh, theatre. the musical theatre ones, yeah. 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 It's like a big pimple it near is, your yeah. hairline. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, no, they don't work for me. And also mic technique. You know, when you're singing, you've got to... Yeah, oh my God. I really shouldn't do that. Is that mic technique? Technique you're showing or another technique? 
Wow. <laughs> See women do some things better. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, no, maybe not that. Yeah. Um, Pope Francis believes that male... The male, female managers at the Vatican have done a way better job than the male staff. During oh, a trip yeah. to Bahrain, mm-hmm. the head of the Catholic Church said that female staff have improved the Vatican, saying, I have noticed that every time a woman is given a position of responsibility in the Vatican, things improve. Women like are just better. You just do like that when so, you're speaking to the Pope, like with your hands cupped. Oh, well, that might be just her thing. I love his costume. I really like His it. costume. His costume's fab, isn't it? Oh, Look at that yeah, necklace. Gorgeous. Heaven. I wonder if there's diamonds in it. I just I like that he's doing like performance reviews now. Yeah. Mm. About time don't... someone did. Oh god, I pulled that hole. I just went there. <laughs> you did not. No, you didn't. Oh, someone's texting. Girls are better at holding a grudge. Mm? Well, that's true. Oh. Sounds like someone's holding one against I mean, you. Girls are girls are basically like secret FBI agents. We we pick up secret, on a lot of things, and then you tell everyone. No, if, well, we can. If, we if notice the, everything. If the we, FBI didn't have a vault. <laughs> I must say, every time we're not very good at keeping our mouth shut. Every time I've been on a plane and it's been a female captain, it's been a much smoother landing. Oh, really? I've always noticed that. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to work out what FBI would sound like. Fab bitch in control. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you guys do? Like a, a monthly like whip around for your performance or something? That's what Pope Francis is obviously doing, a little whip. Is that what you guys do? We can do one right now. If someone wants to pop in, we'll do a performance review on the spot. Do it. You. Whip? Is that yep. what it is? No, that's the breakfast show. Fits and whip. Oh, Fitz and whip. Oh, well, oh, breakfast whip. show in Sydney. Whip dog. In Sydney. God, Obviously. haven't I acclimatised to Sydney quickly? Obviously, we've got four other breakfast shows. Doing I know. Nathan, Nat and Sean. Yeah, ben and Liam. Chrissy Sam and Brownie. Valet. Yes. Yeah. Um, Susie O'Neill. Yes. Lutzy oh, and yeah, Ash. Lutzy. I know. There's Mitch the Prince Lewis as well, as well up there. Yep. Mitch the Prince Lewis. You in progress. What's that mean? You in progress. You okay, Brie? Is Brie all right? Brie. Oh, no. Brie's had a little oh, bit of a, a breed. Mm. <laughs> You've been out for lunch, have you, Brie? <laughs> oh, yes. That's <laughs> what the reviews are called now. Are you in progress? Oh, well, that's... Uh, I've heard it all. That's progress. ridiculous. <laughs> it's time for your you in progress. <laughs> uh, well, can I... I'll, I'll throw something back at you. Change the name, otherwise I'm not taking any of this seriously. <laughs> Why don't we get a you in progress? We do yeah. eight times a year. It's called ratings. Oh, yeah. I'm um, Christine. <laughs> Yo. Hi, guys. Let's be honest. Mm. Girls are really good at drinking wine and singing karaoke. Yeah, girls! <laughs> yes, yes, Christine. Yeah. There you go. Good stuff. Christine, what was the last uh, karaoke song you belted out? Um, It was Dua Lipa and... Um, What's Elton John? Elton John. What's oh, his name? Yes, yeah, so I do a leap I love you, Christine. Yeah. After a few ones. Carl, Carl. Something getting better, baby. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel Nova. I mean, I love you. I love your style. You know, uh, when uh, Three Mobile had the cricket, we're just talking off air about going to the cricket tonight, Joel yeah, and I. Yeah, really looking um, forward Three to Three Mobile it. had the cricket. <laughs> Um, they used to sell these little radio things, these little headset radio things. Oh, with the listen, little um, yeah, the thing that's stuck to the, the antenna? ABC, yeah, yeah, and listen to the commentary. I love doing that. Well, that's a bit of fun. But see, with your AirPods and listening um, via digital, you'd be so far behind the actual play. Oh, yes, because there's it's a delay. Just, yeah, of course, mate. No, I'm going to be there in the moment, soaking it up. You like and a me. sponge. You and me. And you. Yeah, me. Maybe I'll pop the it cricket it, and you. It's me. Hi. I know. That'll be you Hello, trying to get my attention me. across the crowd. Now, this is a dumb question. It's televised, right? Yeah. It's maybe, huge, I'll, maybe I'll New watch Zealand it and I'll, like, I'll, I'll try and keep my eyes peeled. Oh, we might be on the kiss cam. Oh, I hope oh, so. You should I put in a request. It's going to be so cute. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That would be cute. Now, we love uh, family. Look, is there anything more important than family? Oh, no. oh tell me about it. Oh, my God. Um, how close is your family? And I will put it out there before you tell the story, Ricky, because okay. I'll get a call before the break. 13 24 10. Did you marry your stepbrother or sister? Or someone in your family? <laughs> your cousin? Well, unfortunately, weirdly in Australia, it's kind of legal to marry just about anyone in your family, Ooh. which is mm. oddball. Or are you one of those naked families that's all naked around oh, the house? Yeah, people that sashay around nude oh, all no, the time. Like the whole sit on the bed next to your dad nude. Oh, <laughs> not for me. No, no thank exactly you. right. No. Um, a 23-year-old Finnish woman, Matilda, has married her stepbrother. Now, I know it's not blood, yeah. so it's not that gross, but it's gross. Brother, <laughs> stepbrother. 
Her so mum. Just to clarify for people who don't know, step is you have no mutual, you don't have no common no, it's parent. Not. No, half brother is Half yeah, brother blood. and sister is blood. That's what I've got. Yeah. Yes, same. Um, but step is um, you, you're you basically strangers who happen to have your parents hook up. And look. Yes. If like Hayley hot- Brooks, your mum, my dad. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> and Channel 9. You know that. <laughs> Yo, is that right? Yes, that Monday's that, on Channel 9. Is? Hey, Langbrook is your mum and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that the name of the, isn't that the concept of the show? My mum, your dad. So Joel and I, um, Joel's dad yeah, you're gets not with my related. mum, yeah. and so Joel and I can hook up. Yeah, oh, wow. Totally. Yes, and then we get married. Kiss cam. Mm. Uh, so her mum married his example, father. Sorry. Yeah, but I like it. Go I'm with it. With me. <laughs> uh, the step-siblings first met at her mum's 50th. Okay. And there was passion straight away. Maybe they'd had a couple of drinks and they were just, you know, had eyes for each other. Fiftieths oh, are fun. I love a fiftieth. Yeah. Oh, a bit of a knees up over by nine. Absolutely. And they're normally Your quite nice. Fiftieth will be fun. Oh, yeah. You're not know. Right. <laughs> In a couple of weeks' Don't time. Looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> start that. What? Oh, I'm... It's a, this year is not the year to start that stuff. That well, rubbish. My, I told you guys earlier, oh, yeah, my husband up, thought that it? it was my 40th next year. <laughs> and, and then I said, what are you, 39 tomorrow? <laughs> Are you 36 now? I'm 36 now. And I was born in 1985. I, I actually don't even know how old I am. I could be 40. No, you're no, not I was 40. born in 1985. You think I'm 39. No, no, but you... No, I actually gave, was giving Rich too much credit, <laughs> thinking maybe he's one year off. No, he's many, he's many years many, off. Many, many, oh, many, many years, years, years off. off. Come on. Mm. Um, but I have... So in, in my family, there is... Uh, uh, my auntie married mm-hmm. a guy. Yep. Now that guy's brother mm-hmm. met my other auntie, her oh sister. Yeah. Is this confusing? Yes, <laughs> Sorry. So <laughs> yeah. And they had kids together. No relation, yeah. but I just thought it was, I just That's thought gross. growing up that it was kind of weird that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's plenty of fish in the sea, as they say. But, oh. then, but then I think a lot of families hang out a lot. Like, you know, sometimes when you find out that your boyfriend ends up stripping your sister, it's like, what's going on? Oh, like, I know. People I know. are just intertwining. Yeah. Go out and meet people. Yeah. Get out there. Get on an app. Mm, I'm quite, I mean, someone. I'm quite close with my family, with my parents. Oh. Speak to my mum every day. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that's that, not close yeah, that's like not, we're talking well, about. I told you about stripping. Well, we're talking about close families. I was in the back of a taxi leaving a wedding at like a midnight in Perth about a year ago. Midnight and mum, in Paris, midnight in oh, Perth. Midnight Same Perth. Thing. Very similar, Same the Graham thing. Farm Freeway. Very <laughs> sexy. And, um, and the taxi driver said to me twice, your wife has fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> And this was my mother. And I thought, the first time I was like, okay. And then the second time he's like, yo, your wife's fallen asleep. I'm like, well, that doesn't matter, A. And B, I couldn't be doing anything gayer, taking my mother as my date to a wedding. Yeah. And also looking at you. Like, oh, I know. Just, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, she's a gorgeous gal, but she's not. She's in her 60s. Unless you thought your mum was in a lesbian relationship. Maybe. Maybe he thought I was a woman. Because you do look a bit KD Langy sometimes, especially in the back of a cab. Katie Lange. You've got Katie Lange I'm more hair. I thought I was, I've got Ellen got I get Katie all the Lange time. Hair. You've got constant craving here. <laughs> okay, Tina Fey. Oh God, he does that. Like, you're actually dressed do like Katie Lange today. <laughs> do I really? Except you know what? The, I'd Katie lose Lange, it if you want to really. Right, Tina Fey, I'm dead. <laughs> lose much. a necklace though, and then you'll be. No, uh, the she's a smart. Up. She's a smart woman, <laughs> Katie Lang. She wears a suit very well. <laughs> there you are with your mum. Oh, that's me and mum. <laughs> Do I really? <laughs> Look, I, I get Ellen and Gordon Ramsay all the time, which, you know, I'm not thrilled about. No, I think you're a blonde KD Lang. Oh, my God, I can't. Okay. And it's a smirk on the KD Lang. I know, look at her there. She's up to no good there, KD Lang. She's, she's like, she's, oh, she's, she's, she's like, I'm going to get you. Oh, KD Lang, I'm being a lesbian icon. I'm going to get you. That's what that mm. face says. I'm going to get you. Oh. oh, my God. Don't do it. That's Please me in a cigarette butt and a scar butt. <laughs> It's the snow. Oh my, oh, no, oh my god, I'm so hot. This is too much. Are you Can even you on camera stop? today? I don't think I am. The, I'm not is here all today. Your fun work, not being filmed. Because where are oh, you? It is. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is. Up, okay, sorry. Up, my bad. It's because he's not on TV. I can't. Oh say. my god, I'm crying. Okay, Kath. Oh, do you think Joel looks like Katie Lang? I mean, sorry. No. How close is your family? <laughs> Hi. So my parents are stepbrother, stepsister. Your parents are stepbrother okay. and stepsister. But that's all right, isn't it? There's no blood there. That's fine. Okay, cool. There's no blood. <laughs> Good stuff. No, uh, my parents were married first and my mum's mum died and my dad's dad died 
So mum's mum and dad's dad got married, so they became stepbrother, stepsister. Thanks, Kath, Kath. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Sarah, <laughs> is she did she um was she stuttering or was she stop uh, it? Oh, okay, cuff, cuff. <laughs> oh no, your headphone jack's fallen out because you're being a smart ass. That's karma. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Joel. Joel. Uh, <laughs> well, it's better than being called Katie. Not that there's anything wrong with being Katie. <laughs> And this is a banger. I remember when Chanel Cole did this of your season of on your season of Australian Idol. Sarah, really quickly, how close is your family? Um, well, my brothers are dating a lovely set of identical twins, and my nieces are cousin sisters. Hold up. What? <laughs> so, I have two younger brothers. Yeah. Yes. And they are each dating one of a set of identical twins. Amazing. Beautiful girl. Yes. But genetically, my nieces are cousin sisters because they're half identical twins. <laughs> Amazing. I need a flow chart. Yeah. I know. I don't know. Look, people who understand <laughs> They're conversations cousin like sisters. This. They're kisters. Oh, yeah. Come on. Sing a... Sing a Joel. Hey, Tim and Joel. Now, did we do number 20 for the advent calendar just there? We did. Would you like to know what's behind it? Yes, please. A Samsung Galaxy Tab. Hey! Oh, yes. Who doesn't love a tab in an advent calendar? I know. Uh, <laughs> Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Ricky's playing for you today. Hi, Jess. Yay! Hello! <laughs> and Joel, you've got Judy. Hi, Judy. I'll be the Liza to your Judy. Oh, I please hope you win. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Samsung Galaxy Tab. I mean, it's on the line, baby. Okay. okay. Oh, got to stand got for this. this. We've got this. Oh, I'll get a point I mean, it's James. not really my game whisper challenge, but that's fine. I'll... um. Do I have any word suggestions or am I just making them up? Because I can't see them on my sheet. But um, our advent calendar is fantastic. Thanks to our good friends at Coles. Not Coles, Qantas. I'm looking, I'm looking for my words. You come and someone can give them to me if they want. Um, shop smart this festive season at the Qantas Rewards Store. Earn or use Qantas points on brands like Fitbit. Mm. What's this one? Samsung? Samsung. It's a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Yep. Webber. Search Qantas Rewards Store for all your details. Whisper, 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 whisper. Now, this is how we do it. Yeah. No whisper challenge sheet at all. Like, it's no hard because the girls are under the table right now to, to do our headphones. Yeah. This well, my phone's on charge over there. I mean, oh, join your phone. I mean, it's almost like we knew this was coming up at four thirty. Rian's just texting. Oh, thanks, bro. Okay. Well, the girl, because the girls. I mean, I say the girls are under the table. They adjust the volumes of our music so we can't hear you in the game. Yeah, yeah. sure. They bit sit bit under the table the scene, and they yeah. have little iPods or iPads or whatever they're called, and they give us noise cancelling headphones and play music really, 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 really loud. Mm. Yes. Now we took this uh, idea off our good friends at Capital in London, Roman Kemp, Sian Welby, and Sunny J. Uh, they kickstart your morning with the biggest names, hottest tunes, and freshest gossip. Weekdays from six to ten. No thanks. This is how it works. Over to you, please, Roman Kemp. This is playing the Whisper Challenge with Khalid. The Whisper Challenge. Ooh. Now, you're going to get a pair of headphones placed on you. You're going to listen to pretty loud music so that you don't hear anything that I'm saying. Yeah. I'm then going to say a couple of words to you. Uh -huh. And all you're going to have to do is read out exactly what we are saying. I'm not read it out, though. Say it out. Okay. okay. Say it out. Say it out. Say it loud. What? You know that song? No. No. Can you sing say, it again? Say it clear. Are you okay? What? Having a little bleed or something? Sing it again. You can live, 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 live. Oh, oh my God. You. This is why it doesn't play, Joel. This is why he doesn't play. Mm. What's that song? Say it loud. It's mm. like early one in the morning. I think you're having some, a senior some, moment. Something if I could say his microphone down right now. <laughs> <laughs> like he does to you. The living years. Mike and the Mechanics. Oh, let's play out to that. Come on. Okay. Dan's got something to do. I'm ready song, to play, bro. though. Yeah. Well, you'll, you'll know the song. You'll know the song. I love when people yell at you, you know it, you know the you'll song. You'll know it. Uh, okay, here we go. These are... You'll know it. Oh, Should I swap my headphones? Of course. It'd okay. be nice if you guys did something. I'm putting... okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my Mate, cranky I bring pants. him in the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Okay. It's a Got my music on. I just be my self respect so, by you. I'm listening to The Weekend. Mm -hmm. Is it The oh, Weekend? This must be a hot mess. Oh, no. Capital oh, BTS, H sorry. I Pinecone. Quantess! Pinecone! Pinecone. Yes! Wow, well, that's. What was it? What was it? Pinecone. Pinecone. Oh, God. Oh, 
Okay, okay should I put it back on? Flavour. Flavour! Ricky, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you had flavor. a <laughs> That was too quick. You hadn't even started. He said the word. Yes, the double or nothing. It was flavour. Oh, no. yeah, Double no, or nothing. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. My head Can you do that thing where you hold the piece of paper up and then drop it? Man, I don't have the bed either. I don't have the bed for the whisper show. Let me see if I can bring that up again. Oh, here we go. Oh, whisper, oh, whisper, whisper. We're going well in here today. Baby, I was Ready? born this way. Dumplings. Dumplings. Dumb Dumplings. <laughs> Clean sleep with dumplings. Oh, my God, you're so quick today. So we'll, we'll have to give it to Jessica, but we'll keep going. Jessica, you've won. Okay. Oh. The Samsung Galaxy Tab. Congratulations. Stick around if you'd like, Judy, or you can go, but thanks for your time, everyone. No, stay, Judy. We're still friends. Okay, here we go. You ready? Going again? Wish for right. challenge. We're going again, yes. This way, baby. Echidna. Echidna. Ecstasy. Yes! <laughs> What was that? Echidna. Okay, let's go again. At least I was right with the egg. Okay, ready? (laughs) Paul Murray! (laughs) Why would it be Paul Murray? You said P something. What was it? I said... Porcupine. <laughs> oh, well, I was on the right track. Really? Straight. Okay, one oh more. God, you're so ready? good. Ready, ready, okay. ready, ready. No. Uh, Advent. Reindeer. Advent. Aviators. Advent. Antelope. Advent. <laughs> <laughs> was it Aardvark? <laughs> it was Advent. Oh. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> well done. Oh. oh, so pumped. That was fun. Congratulations, on everyone. Fire. Oh. This is the song I was trying to... Oh, yeah, I do know this song. Of course you do. Come on, it's too late. Come on. It's too late. It's too late. Come on. We don't see eye to eye. Yes. Come on. Club. Sure, do. Sorry, I'm still a bit reeling from you this got, challenge. Oh, wow, you got really. You knew the answer in advance or something. I did not. I just read his lips. Yeah, read my lips, mate. You know? You're a loser. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.